So let's get started on trying to make a natural flesh tone. I use a black umber, deep violet, white tail flesh, and a rich brown. So I use the flesh and I put some rich brown. I do like one drop of dark umber and like one drop of the violet. Um, maybe I get carried away. Maybe you don't need violet, but I kind of like throwing that in there. So then I use some lacquer thinner to get them all mixed together, give it a little shake, and we will be ready to paint as soon as it's all mixed together. You can see it's not too bright and it's not too dark. I like to start around the eyes and just get a nice coat going on. I make sure I don't make it too thick and too heavy. I move down to the nose and I do the same thing. I get the inside, the outside, all the skin that's slightly visible underneath all of those white hairs. Because if you do that, it helps you get a little more depth and softness to that fleshy color. Right here you can see that's what I was doing down there on the hair. Gives you some kind of translucency and just really makes it look a lot softer if you get some flesh down in there. I'm just going over all of the lips. And I get a nice base coat going on. So then I want them to add a little bit more brown in, so I put some more rich brown into that flesh color, a little more lacquer thinner. And that's just to kind of darken up some of the fleshy areas that I maybe thought were a little too bright. And then to darken it up more, I use these colors. I use a Payne's Gray, White Tail Flesh, Rich Brown, and that Black Umber. Kind of make a nice gray color. And I use that to go around the very eyelid part of the eye that touches the actual eyeball. Really gives some nice depth. Um, I always make that color darker on every mammal you do give a couple little darker accents along the edges where the hair meets that fleshy color and I do the same thing on the nose. Cat noses are pretty dark on the inside and then they have a nice dark line that goes across the top which is what I'm putting in here. Nice thin line and I'll tell you it's kind of deceiving because you're gonna end up painting the hair and sometimes you think your line is way too thick but when you clean the paint off the hair, it's just right. So I kind of go around the whole outside edge of that nose and darken it up just a little bit. Here's what it looks like before I clean the paint off the hair. Looks a little rough right now, <laughs> don't judge me. So then I go back in kind of with like a Brillo pad. You can use toothbrushes, Brillo pads, pieces of fabric, anything to just get that paint rubbed off. This is him before I put any of the clear coat on before I clean eyes and you can see how those colors really blend together well and it doesn't look too bright and too fake. So I use a matte finish and I go over the eyes and any part that doesn't have to be shiny and I do hit the nose with a little bit of gloss. So here the eyes are cleaned, hair is all paint free, I have you can see that little bit of gloss on that lip line just kind of gives some life to it. I feel like natural flesh is one of those colors that's really hard to pull off and I hope that some of these tips and tricks help you out in your own taxidermy work. So thanks for watching.